Welcome to another Cobra Kai video, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while, and what do I want to talk about in this one? Well, I want to talk about Miguel versus Hector. Now, we've seen the father-son conflicts in this show that go all the way back to season one really get paid off in the latter half of the show. Um, in, obviously, the context now we know season six is the final one. Now, many people know that one of my favorite scenes in the entire show is the scene in season three when Robbie and Johnny have it out in the dojo and Robbie's trying to unlo uh, unload on him and Johnny's on the defense, he won't hurt him. It's such an emotionally moving scene. It's very emotionally compelling. And I think it, it speaks volumes for a lot of people or a lot of sons that grew up without fathers. That, that hits home. That scene really hits home, not just for me, but for a lot of people. And then the scenes that we get of Robbie and Johnny bonding, the scenes we get of Miguel and Johnny bonding, the scenes we get of Miguel and Johnny having that bonding conversation in season two with the burger, um, just little simple things like that. Or the moment in season five when Miguel and Johnny reunite and the score's building to the crescendo, Miguel's crying on the phone and Johnny's there for him. Ah, it was incredible. It's crying. It was amazing. Um, but I do feel like this is a Chekhov's gun, quite literally, because Hector gets a gun out and puts it on the table. I think that's a setup for something. Now, I have often ragged about Cobra Kai going into absurdity the longer the show goes on. But now we know that season six is by definition the final season. I don't think there's much that's off the table this season. I think all punches are not going to be like all. There's no punch that's going to be pulled. No stone that's going to be left unturned. Any potential likely scenario involving the characters and the story can absolutely happen. And I think, I've talked about this a lot, Robbie needs to win the Sekai Taikai. I've given a plethora of reasons why he should win it. Just give Robbie the trophy. Come on. But having said that, if you give Robbie the trophy, you still need to give a, an emotionally fulfilling arc for Miguel. What is the thing, the, what is the theme of this show? What is the most important thing? You are not defined by silverware. You are not defined by a trophy. Miguel has, in my opinion, far surpassed the need to win a trophy. He's he's, he's above it. He, he's not in the space of like, if I win this trophy, I can show everyone. It's like, no, he's far graduated that. I think Miguel's character arc this season is going back to his roots. And that's how you bring Miguel's arc full circle. I think we're in, in store for a Karate Kid 2 type Miguel versus Hector fight. And the reason I say that is in season five, they made it a huge point to show Miguel fighting adults. Now, obviously, they need to keep the power levels consistent. Miguel against five adults, he's going to lose. But he's still putting work in against adults. From like, He's transitioning from teen to young adult. And for me, personally, I feel like that's a huge setup for things going forward. I feel like that's a, a huge dead giveaway that we're being set up for Miguel to have a real-life fight. And... Regardless of what Hector's background is or whatever, or whatever, I think that's how Miguel has a David versus Goliath situation. Because let's be honest, against any of the kids, Robbie's the only one who can give him any trouble. Like, unless Sensei Kim has, like, the, the baddest of the baddest, which I'm sure she will. You know, I want Miguel to have something that pays off his arc that isn't linked to Cobra Kai, that isn't linked to Sensei Kim. I want there to be something that pays off his arc internally. And the way that you do that is you have Hector be an absolute key component of it, where you can have scenarios where Hector is like, you, you, right, you, you took my child away from me, I'll take your child away from you. You could have scenarios like that. Like, it, it's, nothing is off the table, and I feel like we're in store for, to, to pay off that season two dark side Miguel that the show flirted with, you know, in the forest fight, when you see Miguel sort of really embrace that dark side, I think we're going to see that um, this season potentially. Um, and I think, you know, him having having him fight adults is just the natural progression of things because the kids are now graduating to young adult and they're going to start going, you know what, I don't want to fight teenagers anymore. I want to fight the adults. And I think if you're looking at all the kids at face value, and you're looking at them and you're going, right, what's the one kid that could genuinely hold his own a little bit against an adult? It's Miguel. Like, no doubt in my mind. Now, it doesn't mean that Miguel's not going to have anything to do in the Sekai Taikai. I think Miguel is going to be an absolute key component of that. I think Miguel is going to be the MVP of the whole thing. But, I don't, I don't feel like a trophy is... If he wins the tournament, then I'm fine with it because the story will, will deem it necessary. It's just, I feel like Miguel is at a place where we're really graduating him to something more. 
and I feel like his arc with his father, like Robbie and Johnny's stuff was all built on misunderstandings, perception, bad timing, and Johnny not being there, and a whole plethora of things that I've covered in about 50 million Robbie videos. But Miguel's arc with his father, there is some serious bad blood there. Serious bad blood between Carmen and Hector, and Miguel was right in the middle of it. I feel like it's such an important story beat that Hector could be the key to all this. Like what George Lucas said about Jar Jar Binks, Hector could genuinely be the key to all of this. And I really feel like we're at a place with the show where we're at a level of maturity, but we're also, it's like the Harry Potter franchise. The more you watch in each installment, it gets progressively darker. And I feel like season five had so much dark stuff in it. This is how you top it. You have Robbie and Johnny, if it was on the other side of the fence where there is bad blood, Hector's done something. Hector could hurt Johnny. Hector could hurt... Hector could hurt Miguel's mum. Like, I mean, Yaya even. Like, obviously, we don't want to go too morbid because it's Karate Kid. It's not Game of Thrones. But but there is an emotional stake that that, that is there. And the, the, the emotional gravity is so strong for them to not do this. Now, if they don't do it, then I'm fine with it. Again, I, I'm happy to be wrong. I prefer to be wrong than be right. But... I feel like this is an emotional plot point that I would pay off. It's like I've said, Robbie winning the tournament, emotional plot point needs to be paid off. Tori's mum passing away sounds dark, but it's an emotional plot point needs to be paid off. Sam winning the tournament and, and, and you know, really, you know, breaking free of her father's shadow. Emotional plot point needs to be paid off. With Miguel, this is the emotional plot point that needs to be paid off. There is there is more to this story with Miguel and Hector. This isn't resolved. Just because Miguel left Mexico, I don't think that's the end of it. I think there's a lot more that they can do with it. And obviously with season 6 it being the final season, that brings the question of how will they fit in all of this? Well, you either have maybe two episodes more, you have longer episodes, or you have volume one volume two like what stranger things did you could do that or you could have like an hour hour and a half long episode or you could make the the, the, the finale like at literally two hours like <laughs> the, the, there's no there's no benchmark to not do that so i'm hoping that's something they really do because that allows them to really expand the storytelling and take their time um but I think this is an emotional plot point, and it's a very powerful plot point that needs to be paid off, regardless of how Miguel does in the Ore Valley. The show's theme has been, you're not defined by a trophy, we're bigger than a tournament, who's the one character that's already graduated past a tournament? Miguel. Miguel, by definition, is the new- Like, you can apply the Karate Kid logic to every single one of the kids, but Miguel, by definition, and just by principle alone, is the new age Karate Kid. And- I feel like this is an arc, and this is a beat that you need to give him because it has so much emotional gravity going for it. Like, I'm talking Karate Kid 2 level chosen Daniel fighting. Like, I'm, I'm talking all in. And who's the best people to have in Miguel's corner right now? He's got his new stepbrother Miguel. He's got his bestie Eli. He's got, you know, Sam in his corner. Him and Tori are cool. You know, you've got Johnny. He's basically his father. You've got his mum. You've got Yaya. You've got Chosen. You've got Mike. You got Daniel. You got all these people that are surrounding Miguel and giving him the encouragement and power to push on. I think this could really be a, an important thing. And I do want to end this video by saying this one thing: Hector is the key to a crease redemption. Hector is the key. Let me say it again: Hector is the key to a crease redemption. And the reason I say that is I think Crease is going to get that standard Hollywood redemption where he dies by doing one last noble act kind of thing. Now, normally, for those who have followed me for any length of time, you know this. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like characters that redeem and get killed off. To me, it's wasteful. Uh, ben Solo, Harry Osborn, uh, James Norrington. Do I even need to go on? Well, at least with Harry Osborn, there was a bit more emotional gravity there. But by and large... I think Kreese is being set up for a very Darth Vader sty type style redemption, and I think Hector could be the key to that. You really need something to to bring Kreese over to save Johnny. I think it's 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 something that I feel has been set up since the beginning of the show, and it's going to bring it full circle, and it's going to bring a, an extra little story point for Miyagi full circle. Miyagi sparing Kreese allowed Kreese to save Johnny's life. That is cinematic language, people. Guys and girls, I will see you all in the comment section down below. Let me know if you agree with any of the points I've raised. And yeah, we're in the transition now. New video format. Hopefully you guys like it. As time progresses, there will definitely be some more changes with the videos. They'll have pictures coming in, videos popping in. But by and large, this is where it's going to be now. And, you know...
onwards and upwards. If you aren't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. We're on the road to 8k. Um, me and the boys are going to be doing a watch party uh, this this Sunday, I think. Um, I'm not too sure what movie we're going to do, um, but I will announce that on the community tab very, very soon. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in another video soon.